Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. And that's dreams with three Z's at the end. Okay, right now, what we're about to look at is crazy, you guys. Oakland, we got to talk Oakland. This whole smash and grab is getting out of hand and people's businesses are being affected and after the businesses get affected, the community gets affected right after. So we gotta find some way to just work things out in our community instead of going out there and stealing. Let's jump into it and see what's going on out in Oakland. And it all happened early this morning on Hegenberger Road in Oakland. New at 10, KTVU's Amber Lee spoke with the gas station's owner about what happened during that robbery and the changes he now says he wants to see. Right, Amber? That's right, Christian. The owner tells me he's sharing his story and sharing the surveillance video to let everyone know how bad... And I'm be honest with you, none of this is ever worth it. None of this is ever worth it. Surveillance video shows a brazen flash mob style robbery of the 76 gas station mini market on Hagenberger Road in Oakland. It happened early Friday morning around 4 o'clock. Dozens of people ransacked the store. Owner Sam Marday tells me the free for all lasted about 40 minutes. This is the hardest thing you could ever go through. Did you see they like mobbed in there like wait hold on 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 Like are you serious? and sharing the surveillance video to let everyone know how bad things have gotten and he's demanding action. <laughs> surveillance video shows a brazen flash mob style robbery of the 76 gas station mini market on Hagenberger Road in Oakland. It happened early Friday morning around 4 o'clock. People in there with their face out, no mask on, and it's all crazy. I'm not, I don't even want to coach people on how to be a better criminal. It's just the simple fact it's plain ridiculous. When they, they're not really understanding that they're breaking into these stores that they used in the community to help them eat. Like, what are we doing here? on Hagenberger Road in Oakland. It happened early Friday morning around 4 o'clock. Dozens of people ransacked the store. Owner Sam Marday tells me the free-for-all lasted about 40 minutes. This is the hardest thing you could ever go through, you know? Especially you, you, if you've been put in sweat and tears day in, day out. This 24-hour business was offering only window service during the overnight hours. But Marday says the thieves broke in through the front door while two employees were inside. You can see the shattered glass right here. This is... And let me tell you all, it ain't easy only just having a business, especially when somebody's in a neighborhood where it's like low income or it's a violent neighborhood. It's not easy for a business owner to just come into your community and just, you know, bring what they have to, to, to the table to, you know, just bring food into the community and they're being robbed. So now when they take these places out of the community, what's going to happen? Most likely these people are probably going to be traveling to other places and stealing from them. It's just like a constant cycle of people just feeling like they can just go into people's establishments and take what they want. It's absolutely ridiculous. And we got to do better as a community. And, and this isn't happening everywhere. It's just not Oakland. It's not just Oakland. It's sad that this, we're seeing this in Oakland right now, but I'm seeing this happen in so many different places. It's just a sad look. Look at this. I mean, come on now. I mean, there's no, there's no, there's no excuses for this. It's not like you can get a job. Happened early Friday morning around four o'clock. Dozens of people ransacked the store. Owner Sam Marday tells me the free for all lasted about 40 minutes. This is the hardest thing you could ever go through, you know, especially you, you, if you've been put in sweat and tears day in, day out. This 24-hour business was offering only window service during the overnight hours. But Marday says the thieves broke in through the front door while two employees were inside. You can see the shattered glass right here. This is the way they entered. He shared this video of the damage left by the thieves. They emptied shelves and display cases of merchandise, along with cash totaling $25,000 from the register and the ATM that had just been filled for the holiday weekend. Marday says he and his family had just taken over this business last August. Building yourself for the last... 
And I'm going to be honest with you, as a business owner myself, I can't condone or, or support anybody that goes out there and just breaks, breaks into somebody's business and take what they want. And I don't care what ethnic group they're from, I don't care what religion they're behind, I don't care what neighborhood they're in, it's just not right. A right is right and wrong is wrong. It doesn't matter. And, and it's not like, I, to be honest with you, I don't feel like, deep down in my heart, I don't feel like those people people that ran in there and started stealing stuff like they were in desperate need of it i just felt like it's, it came from a selfish it's just like a selfish thing selfish energy going around right now that people are just you know they feel like okay you know what i'm just gonna take this from this place and then next day what what happens they show up when the guy builds up the place again they showing up to get a sandwich in the morning or get some breakfast and acting like they wasn't the ones just the other week stealing from the same guy it's ridiculous he says he and his family had just taken over this business last August. Building yourself for the last 10 months, and then you're back to square one. He tells me he is aware that this area is a hotspot for thieves because of its proximity to the Oakland airport, and travelers are considered easy targets. I did not fit. Right near the airport, so that means that anybody traveling, it's not a safe place to travel, so that's going to lose, you know, just losing people coming into Oakland now because some people just want to rob people. So nobody's going to visit there and you lose money in the community. Come on now, these are things that we know. Proximity to the Oakland airport and travelers are considered easy targets. I did not think it's this terrible. I thought maybe once every blue moon. Marday suspects the thieves are people who participated in a sideshow in the area. He says police did not respond to the robbery until almost nine hours later. It's very disheartening. I'm scared to go out after dark, and I don't know. I just, I, it's... It... Nice shades. We were at the store Friday afternoon. A police unit pulled up and parked in the lot. We were told it is part of the violent suppression unit stationed at known crime hotspots. City Council member Treva Reed, who represents the area, issued a statement saying in part, I continue to advocate and work to secure increased public safety resources and response, urging the mayor. What we're going to see is a lot of these businesses being closed down and communities, they're going to be left starving and left of people that are losing jobs and things like that. It's not the way it, taking, taking, taking ends up crumbling establishments and people have to realize in the back of their mind just because it's, you take it from some place, it doesn't mean that that person just because they have a business, they can just poof and get it tomorrow. They lose a lot. So for everybody out there man you know if you if you know people that's involved in this type of um this these silly crimes that could lead to you know extensive time in, in um prison let them know man it ain't the way man because they get themselves in this type of trouble and it's not worth it in the end you end up losing your life as well as a business ends up closing down and now your community can't strive because it has no no income coming in and the people inside of it can't be trusted so I don't know you guys, man. Just stay away from the crime, man. It's, it's, it's crazy, but it's, it's an ongoing cycle that needs to be broken. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I have more to come. Check out my animations. And if you want to support my brand, Inspired by Dreams, dot shop. And that's Dreams with three Z's, all right? Love you all. Peace.